So today is the day that I finally share with you lovely people exactly how I run my eBay business part-time from my house. Let's do it. What's happening people? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Daryl at Flippin' Hustle. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a little insight to exactly how I run my eBay business part-time from home. I'm gonna be sharing with you certain aspects like how I pick the items that have sold, how I package those items, and how I ship them off. If it's your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to the channel, you're greatly appreciated. A little bit about myself, I'm a part-time eBay reseller, so that basically means I go and source items from places such as car boot sales, charity shops, Facebook Marketplace, etc., and I sell them on eBay for a profit. That is how I build an income online. The sole purpose of my channel is to help other resellers, okay? I share my reselling journey. I share tips and tutorials, how I build my business that maybe you could use to help you build your business and have success on eBay and ultimately build a community of other eBay resellers. So that is enough talking from me. Let's get into the video. All right, so we've got the headgear on. Um, now it's time to start picking. This is all my... You can see my merchandise uh, neatly packed away in my office. Uh, these are the listings. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why is this guy wearing a head camera, but we can't see the shot from his head? Let me tell you why that happened. Um, it's mad. I, I, I know the file saved on this camera because I watched it back. I watched it just to check that it looked okay. And when I put it onto my computer, it was a myth. It wasn't there. So my apologies, don't hold it against me. I blame technology, this is pants. So um, there is one that's not on here and that's this pair of uh, Powerbeats free wireless headphones. So they need to go out. They're going to Cyprus via global shipping. So let's start at the bottom and work our way up to the top. We need a poo. Got that at car boot for 20p. Now, there is an item here, which is the Jeantex uh, jacket. Um, I packaged it up because the buyer did buy this uh, a while ago, a few days ago, but they only just paid, so that's ready to go out. So that's already packed up. We've got three items there. So what's next? Vintage, vintage Jerry Lee Disney Seven Doors t-shirt, size XXL. All right, let's do it down there. Um, this is all sports stuff. I'm certain it's in here. This one. There we go, right at the top. Um, already packaged these up in polythene bags. So that's that one ready to go. Let's put that down there. Lego Duplo baseboard. I think. These are here. Yep, already packaged. There's three boards there. I got this in, I don't know if you can see in this box here. I bought a Facebook Marketplace for £6 and they were in that. And these are selling for £9.99 for these three. So great profit. That's them. Uh, Nike Portugal jersey away shirt. I think it'll be in here. Charity shop for two pounds and it's sold for get this back on 15 pounds, which is good. Uh, postage is one pound 72, so that'll be a large letter. What's next? Maryland Terrapins American football jersey. I think I saw that in here. So this is all the stuff I've got in the vintage kilo. There it is there. Under Armour, really good condition. Um, size XL. So this was in a vintage kilo sale. I got about 20 items for £100. 
this one alone is selling for £23. Oh, and the vintage Jerry Lee t-shirt. This one here, same, same vintage kilo sale. Um, that sold for 35 so two great sales there from the vintage kilo. Put this back in here. Watch some men's London Marathon running top. That is on my clothes horse because I washed it because I got it from a charity shop. So whenever I like to, uh, whenever I sell an item that I've got from a charity shop or vintage kilo, I wash it before I send it. So they've both been washed. All of those t-shirts have been washed and the jacket. So I'll have to go and locate that one. Okay, so next we've got a Calvin Klein woman's bra. I've got, this is an RA. Uh, that stands for retail arbitrage so, so if you're watching the reselling channel and they say this is an ra item it means that they bought it from a retail shop so this was bought from tk maxx for 10 pound and it sold for 22 pound 99 so a good little bit of profit and i'm not sure what box let's not put that on there because it's definitely going to fall size medium women's brand new that one. So a reasonably good weekend of sales. Profit made, which is good, which is what we want. So we've got the vintage Disney Portugal top, Terrapins jersey, Calvin Klein bra, Duplo bases, Beats, Winnie, and the Gentex top there. So in this box here is where I keep all of my packaging and stuff. So we'll put that down there. This will go out as a large letter. Hold that over. So, push it down and make sure you get all the air out. Fold this up. Done. And push it down, get all the air out. This requires a large letter as well. Lovely jubbly. Very reasonably priced as well. Right, if you haven't got one of these, great investment. This is how I fold up my items. Let me show you. So we lay it out flat. Put this on here. Fold the sleeves in. Fold it over. Fold it up.
now these are really helpful these big blue uh, strong rubble bags if you're sending big plush toys like this obviously you want to try and get them as flat as possible otherwise we'll get charged for a larger size parcel Right, so we've got everything picked, packed, uh, labelled up, ready to go. I just obviously write a little like calve, um, so I know what's what. Once I've weighed them, obviously as you can see, I just jot down the weight on there, just so I know when I'm doing the labels, entering the right weights, etc. So all of my labels are here, ready to go. Um, I've again labelled the back of the label, so I know what's what. We don't want things going to the wrong people, etc. So let's get sticking the labels. Let's do this one first. This is the Beats headphones. Go for the label. That was the Beats one. This is going via my homes. This is the, this is going via the global shipping program. So stick it on the corner. And what I like to do, for me in particular, I just like to. Uh, yes, I get through ridiculous amounts of sellotape. <laughs> but I like to just make sure that it is stuck on. So it's nice and secure there, okay? That one's done, sorted. This is the Calvin Claw, what I've written actually. That's what I normally do, so let's just continue with the same process. Stick, just like to stick it down just to ensure it doesn't come off. I don't get tape over the barcode. You probably can, but 
I just try and minimize any possible problems. So that one will go in the letter box, nice and thin. So obviously as a part-time reseller, this is, this is something I do, if not daily, every other day. And again, I enjoy it. People might call me mad, but it's part of the process. This is the Jean Tex jacket that I got from the vintage kilo sale. Get on. And all I will do on the way to walk my dogs is drop these off at the shop. Right guys, there you have it. That is exactly how I build my eBay business, part-time from my house, okay? Those are the exact steps that I take when I pick, package, and ship my items off to my buyers, okay? Now, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've taken some value from this. If you have, then do your good deed for the day and smash that like button. Feel free to drop me a comment and also connect with me on Instagram. If ever you have any questions about reselling, please don't ever hesitate to ask. There is no such thing as a silly question, so feel free to ask away. Uh, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. I truly believe that anyone can do this right now and make money online via eBay. I truly believe that. You just have to take action. But of course, you have to educate yourself first. Um, if you haven't watched it already, I have a great video on how to get started on eBay. Go and check that out. Uh, that's enough from me. Uh, I hope you all take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Peace.